Well, my ghost story began uh, a few years ago. When we moved into our piece of property, I noticed a beautiful Victorian two-story farmhouse up back behind me. Things happened when we moved in that kind of shocked us. We didn't know why. The pig farm is an old abandoned farmhouse. It's creepy to me, and I can't explain why, What you know, the creepiness. Three people had died in that property over the last seven years. And the house was built in 1892, and tucked in the corner of this property is a little slaughterhouse. It was called the pig farm. I don't go up to the pig farm often. Never felt the need to be up there. Whenever Phil would go up, I'm like, oh, I'll just stay here. <laughs> Once or twice a week, I'd go up, walk around the whole house, walk around the whole property. And I would take my video camera up there sometimes in case somebody was up there that shouldn't have been. And I could actually document it that they were there. And it was one time I was in there and it was just the, the it was hot. It was real thick in there and it, it felt really oppressive in there. Anybody in here? So I had the camera pointed into the, toward the kitchen. I saw something lean in, and I, it looked like a shape of somebody moving. It was a clock. The um, grandfather clock falling was a shock to me. Also, at first, I tried to, in my mind, say, oh, something knocked it over. However, it's a very large clock, and a small animal couldn't have knocked it over, and a larger animal Phil would have seen while he was in there. And you see the clock at first, the pendulum is straight up and down. When I yell, anybody, is home? anybody at home, the pendulum just starts going really fast. And that's what gets me to believe that I don't know what that is. And then it just crashes <laughs> over. And that's when I scream and swear and run. I cannot explain the pendulum swinging at all. There is no explanation for that. One night, I decided, let's see if I could capture something on film. So I went out with four cameras, and I set up in different parts of the house. Just let them roll. Now, the next morning, me and my daughter were hugely curious. And I said, watch the tape. Tell me if anything happens. I didn't think it was anything was going to happen. My daughter was looking at the video, and uh, all of a sudden, she came running down the steps, and she's like, you got to see this. And so we went up into her bedroom, and, and she goes, OK, here it is. The chair move. Well, when I first saw the chair move, actually, I, I didn't believe it. You know, I'm like, oh, what is this? You know, I, <laughs> I'm like, that can't be real. But then, you know, and the same thought, it's like, oh my gosh, that's scary. Sure enough, we're watching, it's dead silent. All of a sudden, you see this rocking chair just go vroom, vroom. And then it looked like somebody grabbed the chair and just yanked it. And then it dropped a bit. And then nothing. And we're like, we're all standing like this. <laughs> Seeing the chair move creeped us all out. And we were, at the same time, we were both all excited that something was caught on tape. However, again, scared and I, I can't describe it. it just, I just was not expecting that at all. I, I started watching the tape, watching the full hour of it. And when I started hearing the sounds of what sounded like somebody snoring or growling, I got chills. And then the cabinet slowly opened. I mean, I, it, that was nerve-wracking. Now, when I think about it, perhaps because the lands were connected, things going on at the pig farm may be related with things that happened in our house in the past.
I remember laying in, in bed one night and there was creaking in our hallway. Our hallway is very small. It's, it has our bedroom and our kids' bedrooms are right there. And there's a creak in the floor. The kids usually go to the bathroom. They, they go past our door and the bathroom's just past our door. And they always turn on the hallway light. You can usually see that light underneath the doorway. And the board does creak as they go by. However, this particular night, the light didn't go on. She thought the kids were just running back and forth to the bathroom, but again, the lights didn't go on. She was concerned about it. She woke me up. <laughs> I actually punched Phil. <laughs> I'm like, elbowed him, and I'm like, get up. Do you hear that? And he heard it, and we laid there and listened, and it happened uh, several other times. And my heart just, it, my first thought was intruder. There was somebody in my house. Phil ended up sitting up on the edge of the bed. I'm looking at the bottom of the door, and I'm seeing nothing. I see no lights. So I sat and I waited. And finally, creak, creak. And I grabbed the door, opened it up. And there was nothing there. And then after that, the creaking kind of stopped that night. I go around the corner, go into my kids' room. I think, these kids are messing with me? No. Pitch black, everybody's sleeping. Go in my daughter's room. She's sleeping. I got angry with Phil, and I, I pretty much told him, I don't want you going up there anymore. I truly do believe that he actually brought home a spirit or a ghost with him that time. Do I think it's a paranormal experience with the cabinet door opening? Maybe. Uh, maybe not. It's it, the cabinet door open. Do I believe in ghosts? I, I have to say, yeah. I was raised Catholic, and I try not to believe in the paranormal. I, however, over the years and the many episodes of things I've seen, sometimes you just have to actually question whether there isn't a, something out there going on, if there isn't some spirit or paranormal activity out there. <laughs>